Hello everybody, it's been a little while, 14 days since the last video, and I do apologize for that, but I have been very busy with work, school, and a billion other things, so I do apologize. But today, we are actually going to take a look at a London Studio script. Um, actually, we're going to combine three of them. Um, they've released a new update, or like a new version of Supply Line, which hooks into Smart Hose. Um, if you've never used these resources, I've kind of gone over the Hose one and the um, Ladder Truck previously over on the channel but today we're going to take a look at how you can integrate these together um so you're we're going to integrate smart hose fire supply line and their vehicle one that comes with a pre-made fire truck vehicle and then these all connect together so you can have kind of a um, interactive setup and obviously it would look work alongside smart fires too if you're um, using that script but today we're only going to take a look at those three um the main ones are going to be the hose and the supply line which were the recent updates that they asked me to check out um, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid to do this video or anything. They did give a free copy of the resource, so thank you for doing that. However, they're not paying and they don't get creative control over the video. I always like to mention that because some people have problems if I'm covering paid scripts and I'm getting something back from it. I never get anything back from it other than just being able to cover the script. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So once you purchase this on their site, it's all through Keymaster. So you'll come over to Keymaster here. I am running a beta version of the supply line and hose. However, since this uh, video is being posted, the full version has come out. Um, so you can go ahead and download the full version um, and you'll see it sort of like this in your key master. It's going to say smart fires or something, and then it will have the recent update. Um, as long as you download this recent update, you're going to have the latest version. Same with the um, supply line resource. So once you have those, I have them all here. You can see I have the vehicle here, I have the supply line, and I have the uh, smart hose. We're going to install this kind of like any other resource we do on our server. We're going to navigate over to our resources folder, and we're going to just install these one by one. So first I'm going to install smart hose. I'm just going to drag this in, and you can see it has a config file and everything. You can open this up and configure it to your liking and whatever you need to do. Change the key bindings, all of that is available if you want to do... Um, EXX or VRP or any of those um, kind of frameworks, you can go ahead and set that up. I'm using none of those, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to keep everything else in here default. I have nothing I need to do um, or change because this is just a default installation. So I'm going to drag that in. We have smart hose in there, and we're just going to go to our server.cfg, and we're going to edit this with Notepad or Notepad++. I'm going to make this a little smaller so it's not that crazy. All right, now that we have this, I'm just going to go underneath the rest of our um, resources here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the other ones I'm using because I have other versions of these resources installed. I don't want to worry about that, but I'm just going to type insure the name of the resource we just put in the folder, smart host. And then while we're in here, we can go ahead and do the other ones. So we have our resources folder. So we have smart hose installed now. I'm going to delete the light version that I use for a different video. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag in the supply line resource. And inside supply line, there's also a configure file. You can edit it to your liking if you need. It goes over if you want to do find hose positioning or anything like that. If you want to place hydrants, you can do a command called slash hydrant, um, place, and all of that. QB core notifications. Again, you can have job checks. All that's available in the uh, configure file. So we're going to go ahead and drag that in. And once that's dragged in, we're just going to take the name of that folder, supply dash line, and add that to our resource here. So right after smart hose, we're going to have ensure supply dash line. And then we're going to do the same thing with our vehicle. So in here, you can see smart vehicle. We're going to drag that in. If you want to configure it again, there's a configure file for it. Same type of things. You can run the command slash setup vehicle to set up a smart vehicle that hooks in and integrates with the um, resource. By default, they do provide a vehicle. Um, and you can see there's a couple of them in here. So you can uh, figure this out to your needs and likings and add other vehicles and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to type insure and then the name of your vehicle, smart vehicle. And if you want to know how to modify or set up any of these like advanced features or anything, they do have a um, wiki page that I recommend checking out. Docs.LondonStudios.net. There is everything about each resource in here. So you can see that they have paid vehicles. They have resources here, so it shows you which um, vehicles are compatible with smart vehicles. It gives you a list of where you can download these and um, which resources and authors have made support for all of this. So you can go ahead and um, use these as you need and um, all their info is here. It also goes over the supply line and smart hose V2 in here on how it works, so what it has, and then how you can configure it. It goes through a config walkthrough. They have their own videos. 
um, and all of that's available in here. So if you need to use any of this, feel free to come over onto this documentation page. I'll leave a link to the docs in the description and um, you can go ahead and work that out. Anyway, back to the resource itself. We've now put these three into our resources folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the server.cfg and then I'm just gonna start up the server. And this is going to check console and we're just gonna go through the startup uh, procedures here and we're just gonna make sure there's no errors. We're just gonna make sure it says, oh, hey, everything has started successfully. Um, so we look in here, it started smart host, supply line, and smart vehicle. So we know everything started up, we have licenses for all of them, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and hop in game and check it out. We are in game here, so we're just going to go ahead and spawn a fire truck. We'll do fire truck, and then they spawn without the C, remember, because this is a GTA. So we now have our fire truck here. So let's go ahead and find a um, hydrant. I'm hoping there is a fire hydrant somewhere around the downtown area. I would assume there is, but knowing GTA, they probably don't put any around here. We can always set one up with that um, command as well, but I'm just going to see if I can find one naturally first, uh, which it doesn't look like I'm having any luck finding a natural hydrant somewhere around here. So I think we're... Oh, here's one. Perfect. See, I found one right at the end. All right, so if we pull up here... It's pretty simple to use this resource. So if you walk up to the side of the fire truck, it's gonna say E to grab hose. If you press E to grab the hose, you can see that it's now attaching the hose to the nozzle. And if I try to spray this, it's gonna say the tank is empty. We cannot shoot water because we don't actually have any water. But when we walk up to this hydrant, we're going to be able to press Z to connect the line to the hydrant. And then we can press H to start filling the tank with water. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's now going to show that the water level is increasing. And you can see there's a second hose that now connects underneath the truck there. And then that's actually going to connect to the supply line. You can see the visuals are a bit glitched, but you can see it's now connecting to that supply line. Um, and then if I go ahead and shoot the water, you can see I can now shoot water. And I can change the pressure of the water using my arrow keys. So if I change the pressure to one, it's going to be a little higher. And if I change it down, you can see it's going to be a little bit less pressure down to where it is. And then obviously, you can adjust this to the maximum of 1.5 right across the street. And you can see I've run out of water. I'm going to have to let the tank refill now and I can adjust it down. Obviously, if you have foam set up, you can also use foam. But for me, I only have the water set up right now. And then obviously you can walk over to the truck and disconnect or um, stop filling the line. So I can press H to stop filling the line and then I can disconnect this line. And then if you walk back, you're um, truck is still going to have that water in it. So um, you can press E to store the hose and you can grab it again at any time. Remember, you only have the water that was left. So I've just used that remaining water that was in the truck and I can go ahead and store this hose again. So what you would probably do in a realistic um, situation is you would grab this hose at the station, you would connect it to the truck, you would fill up the tank of water um, all the way to maximum before you go out on your day-to-day -day, um, operations. And then when you get to a scene, you would connect the supply line so you don't run out of water. Pretty cool resource if you want it to be a little bit more realistic than what you're used to on your server currently. Um, I'm going to throw this on our recording server. Maybe we'll use it from time to time. But thank you to the London Studios people for reaching out to me to showcase and let me um, just mess around with this script. Check it out if you're interested. Links are in the description and I will see you in the next video. See you all later. Bye. Bye.